everyone, this is Chris Stern, I'm a pre-sales engineer at Squid, and today I'm just going to do a quick walkthrough on how to install Squid into your Salesforce sandbox or dev org. So as you can see here, I am in Lightning, and there's two easy ways to do this. One is through the App Exchange. So if you open up Setup and then navigate to uh, the App Exchange, you can search for Squid. So let me just do that real quickly and install us right from there, which is really easy. I'll just show you kind of what you need to do uh, to walk through that. So squid, S-K-U-I-D. So it sounds like this C creature, but actually stands for Scalable Kit for User Interface Design. And once we uh, pull that up, we'll go into that result, and then we'll get an install link um, here at the bottom. So I'll just hit get it now. Make sure that you're logged into the Salesforce org that you are wanting to install Squid into. So we'll open that login screen and allow. Let that load. Login successful. Install in this org. Again, make sure that you are signed into the org that you're wanting to install Squid in. So hit install here. Uh, you might need to fill out some information if you need to, and then just accept the terms and conditions. Confirm and install. And this will usually uh, take a little bit longer than just uh, sitting here and waiting for it to finish, so it'll send you an email uh, once everything is installed. Uh, install for all users just makes it easy for testing purposes. We'll hit upgrade. And then this is where uh, I believe we'll get the, the note that it might take a little while and they'll shoot us an email when it's done. So we're going to let that uh, happen in the background. That's the uh, probably the easiest way to install Squid into your org. The other way, though, uh, which is also pretty straightforward, squid.com backslash releases. And there you'll see the latest uh, release that you can install. There's this nice button here. You can also look at the change logs and past releases for documentation and things like that. But for now, just hit install, uh, install to production or sandbox, either one of those links. And then somewhat similarly, it will take you to a, a login screen just to verify which environment you're going to install this into. And similar questions end at this point. So install for all users, upgrade and then we'll get the, um, we'll email you when it's done. So once it has installed and you've gotten your confirmation email, you can go back to your uh, Salesforce, open the um, app launcher, and then you can just search for Squid. So we'll open up that app, and this takes you to uh, Squid Central. And Squid Central, uh, as you can see, uh, is Basically, just like your kind of landing ground, there's links to uh, different documentation, tutorials, design showcase, Squid Learn, and then also your ability to explore some sample pages or create a page. For uh, the purposes of the Build an App webinar, we're going to be creating a page. So you can either just launch into that straight here from Squid Central, or you can do Compose a New Page. Either one works. From here, just title your page. Uh, demo for webinar. Uh, select the Squid API version 2, start with the blank page, hit create page. Uh, Squid will go ahead and create that page and then drop you into the Squid App Composer, which is where uh, you'll need to be for the purposes of the Build an App webinar. This is where we'll be building out the application. So once that loads, uh, I have mine in dark mode. Your default is light mode, but you can adjust those settings if you so desire. And so, yeah, that's how you go about getting Squid installed into uh, your Salesforce org. Thanks so much.